Right, so today we're going to be making the mini quiches today, part of the protein range. So these are a really great little snack to cook ahead of time and you can um, pop in the fridge and then pop in your lunchbox. So we're going to be using two sheets of puff pastry which are currently defrosting over on the table. You can see them there. Okay. On the edge of the table. There. Okay. Um, just waiting for them to defrost a little. Okay. Um, our ingredients are two sheets of puff pastry, two eggs, um, we've got milk, tomato, two slices of hand diced spring onion, some grated cheese and some salt and pepper as you wish. So there's the pepper. Okay. Um, what we have to do is our preparation. So the first thing we've got to do is slice and dice everything. So we have um, two slices of ham. So I'm only going to use two of these. And I'm going to slice them up. So we're just going to finely dice them today. So this is what used to be called mess and place. Now we're just going to call it preparation because most people were a bit freaked out by those words. So we're just going to do long strips and then we're going to fold them together and we're going to go the other way. Chop it up, make sure that most of the pieces are about the same size. That's it. Yeah, that's our meat, so we'll move that out of the way. Now, I can't use the same knife, or I have to wash the knife. So I'm going to wash the knife because I use meat. And if you use meat, you can't do the cross contamination thing. So I'm going to move this forward. Move my oil spray and stuff out of the way. I'll put my bowl up here. Okay. So I'm just going to grab the pastry. Okay. So I'm back again. I'm going to chop up my spring onion. You need to do all of this in advance. I'm going to get rid of that thing because it's a bit yucky. Finally, chop the spring onion. Now, this recipe should make 12 mini quiches. Now, cut all the way to the bottom of the green. But once it starts getting into the white section, or closer to the white section, then you stop. Okay. Like that. And then we're going to slice up our tomato. I'm going to pop up our tomatoes. Just going to put that down there. That's paper. I've got to make sure I don't show my bad habits on here. So they're always cutting away from the top. Cut out those bits at the top. And then I slide through like that. And then down into the tomato. You want to dice it really quite finely. And if the question is, do I have to have tomato? I'm going to say yes, because you need to learn how to cut it, you need to learn how to use these different things, and you need to try things. And one of the things about food nutrition is that you give things a go. Okay, so if you haven't tried tomato in a while, this is your opportunity to try tomato. Now remember, when you're cutting, try to keep your fingers out the way as much as possible. Go that way. And when you're doing this, you want to curl. Curl the fingers, move them away. Tomato will squish a little bit, but that's okay. There's the tomato. Worry about that cheese measured out. Don't need that. Now this is our pastry, and we're going to cut this into thirds, uh, and we're going to end up with nine pieces all together. So we're going to kind of measure out about the same and cut through like this. And then we're going to turn it and do the same thing. So you want to try and make it about the same size and just slice through. So you end up with nine little squares and we'll do that to the other piece as well. So we're going to use a generous amount of cooking spray in this thick mix. Really coat 
the inside, or else they're going to stick terribly and you'll never get them back out again. So even a little bit on the outside, try not to breathe it in. Take a peel off your little bits of things. So one of you can be doing the chopping, the other one can be doing the process. I'm just going to push it in to the cup tray. Can actually stretch it out a little bit, so it fits. Nice and sharper than it looked. Just peel it off. Go. Give it a stretch. Just peel them off. Stretch. Just pause while I'm doing this. Okay, so this is your final product. You see that the, the, the um, pastry's gone a bit brown around the edges. It's all puffed up, the egg, and the egg has started to brown on top. You don't want it to go too far or your egg becomes really chewy. Okay, all done.